Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome to Leisure Gaming. I am Leisure, and it is time for the Trap Tricks to take a back seat because yes, there is a new Trap Deck in Master Duel, the lovely Labyrinth. To start off the deck profile, we have two Absolute King Backjack. You could definitely run this at three. You could banish this card from the graveyard, excavate the top card of your deck, and if it is a normal trap, set it to your field. Otherwise, send it to the graveyard. That set card can be activated during this turn. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can look at three cards on the top of your deck, then place them on the top of your deck in any order that you choose. One Labyrinth Ku Clock, and you can definitely drop this to make room for your third backjack. You could discard this card this turn. You can activate one normal trap card that was set this turn if you control a Labyrinth Monster. If a card or cards is sent from your hand to the graveyard to activate your normal trap or your Labyrinth card, or effect except Labyrinth Ku Clock while this card is in your graveyard, you can add this card to your hand or special summon it. Next are two Maxi, two Labyrinth Stovey Torby. You can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard and discard one card. Set one Labyrinth spell or trap from your hand or deck. If a monster or monsters leaves the field by your normal trap effect while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card. Primarily, you're going to be looking for your Welcome Labyrinth trap card when you activate this effect. Next are two Labyrinth Chandra Glare. You can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard and discard one card. Set one Labyrinth spell or trap from your hand or deck. If a monster or monsters leaves the field by your normal trap effect while this card is in your graveyard, you can add this card to your hand. Once again, you're primarily going to be looking for your welcome labyrinth. One Ariane, the labyrinth servant, you can send one normal trap from your hand or that set on your field to the graveyard, special summon one level 4 or lower fiend monster from your deck in defense position, except Ariane herself. If another monster or monsters leaves the field by your normal trap effect, you can draw one card, then you can apply this effect. From your hand, either special summon one fiend monster or set one spell or trap. When you activate Ariane's ability, you're primarily going to be looking for your Ariana if you don't have her. If you do have her in your hand, that's the one you're going to special summon. Or you're just going to set a spell or trap, which is primarily going to be your Welcome Labyrinth or maybe something else like one of the virus cards that I have in this deck. Three, Ariana the Labyrinth Servants. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add one Labyrinth card from your deck to your hand. Once again, it's going to be your Welcome Labyrinth or your Labyrinth Labyrinth Field Spell, depending on which one you have or which one you need at the time. If another Monster Monsters leaves the field by your normal trap effect, you can draw one card, then you can apply this effect. From your hand, either special summon one Fiend Monster or set one Spell or Trap. One Labyrinth Archfiend gains 400 attack for each normal trap with a different name in your graveyard. Your opponent's monsters cannot target Fiend Monsters for attacks except Labyrinth Archfiend. You can only use each of the following effects of Labyrinth Archfiend once per turn. If a trap card is activated, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is special summoned, you can set one normal trap from your deck that can only be activated when an attack is declared. Essentially, that trap that they're talking about, they are going to be things like your Mirror Forest, your Magic Cylinder, and a Sakuretsu Armor, just for example. Next are two lovely Labyrinth of the Silver Castle. These are going to be your boss monsters for this deck. Your opponent cannot activate monster effects in response to the activation of your normal trap cards. You can only use each of the following effects of Lovely Labyrinth of the Silver Castle once per turn. You can target one normal trap in your graveyard, set it to your field, but it cannot be activated unless you control a fiend monster. If another monster of monsters leaves the field by your normal trap effect, you can destroy one card in your opponent's hand or their field. On to the spells, we have two Pot of Extravagance. Banish three or six random face down cards from your extra deck face down. Draw one card for every three cards banished. And two, Labyrinth Labyrinth. If you activate a set Welcome Labyrinth Normal Trap, you can add this additional effect to that card's effect at resolution. Also, after that, destroy one card on the field. If you activate a non-Labyrinth Normal Trap card, you can special summon one Fiend Monster from your hand or graveyard. Your main target when it comes to that second effect of special summoning from the graveyard or your hand is going to be your Lovely Labyrinth unless you need something else on the field. On to the traps, we have two Torrential Tribute. When a monster of monsters is summoned, destroy all monsters on the field. We have three Compulsory Evacuation Device. Target one monster on the field, return that target to the hand, and this is going to be the one of the ways that you're going to trigger a lot of your Labyrinth effects. We have two Deck Devastation Virus. Tribute one Dark Monster with 2,000 or more attack. Look at your opponent's hand. 
all monsters they control, and all cards they draw until the end of their third turn after this card's activation and destroy all those monsters with 1500 attack or less. 2. Eradicator Epidemic Virus, tribute 1 dart monster with 2500 or more, and declare 1 type of card, spell or trap. Look at your opponent's hand, all spells or traps they control, and all cards they draw until the end of their third turn after this card's activation, and destroy all those cards of that declared type. Essentially this is now being played because of us runic players. 2. Full Force Virus, tribute 1 dart monster with 2000 or more defense, look at your opponent's hand, all monsters they control, and all cards they draw until the end of their third turn after this card's activation and destroy all those monsters with 1500 or less defense. We have two infinite impermanence to help with negates. We have two dogmatic punishments where you target one face up monster your opponent controls. Send one monster with an equal or higher attack from your extra deck to the graveyard and if you do destroy that monster. Until the end of your next turn after this card resolves you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck. We have three Welcome Labyrinth, special summon one Labyrinth monster from your deck, also until the end of the next turn after this card resolves, you cannot special summon monsters from the deck or extra deck except Fiend monsters, your main target for this is going to be your lovely Labyrinth. If a monster leaves the field by your normal trap effect while this card is in your graveyard except the turn it was sent there, you can set this card. And we have two Archfiend Ghastly Glitch. If you control a Fiend monster, target one card on the field, destroy it, then you can send one Fiend monster from your deck to your graveyard. This is how you're going to get your backjack into your graveyard really fast. Going on to the extra deck, and keep in mind your extra deck is going to be used for Pot of E fodder, but you can also make sure that it is built in a way that if you need to tap into it, you can and it is useful to you. To start off, we're running one Elder Entity Entest. This is going to be your Dogmatic Punishment target because once this is sent to the graveyard, you can target one card on the field and destroy it. We have one Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Once again, another Dogmatic Punishment target. One Hum Humming the Key Jin. When this card is special summoned, you can target one Jin monster in your graveyard, special summon it, then you can attach up to two cards from your hand to it as XZ material. Once per turn, you can detach one XZ material from this card, then target one Jin monster you control, this card can attack directly. Essentially, you're going to use the effect on itself so that way you can get into Zeus. We have one Down Nerd Magician, which is going to be summoned during your main phase 2 off of your Hum Humming. One number 41 Baguska, once per turn during your standby phase, detach one material from this card. If you cannot destroy it, this attack position card cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Your opponent cannot target this attack position card with card effects. While this card is in face up defense position, change all face up monsters on the field to defense position. Also negate the activated effects of monsters that were in defense position when that effect was activated. We have one Divine Arsenal Double A Zeus and this is going to be a total field clear by detaching two materials from this card. We have one Relinquished Anima, you can target one face up monster this card points to, equip this face up monster to this card. This is also going to be another way to get your backjack into the grave. If you open with backjack, you will just summon backjack and then link into your anima. We have one Nightmare Phoenix to help destroy spell and traps on your opponent's side. IP Mascarena to help link into Nightmare Unicorn on your opponent's turn. One Dark to Dark Charmer. This is going to be used to special summon a dark monster from your opponent's graveyard. And this will also help get into Selene, which will then help you get into Axis Code Talker or Goddess of the Underworld. We have one Nightmare Unicorn to spin cards back into your opponent's deck. One Selene Queen of the Master Magicians. Once you activate her effect, you're primarily going to be looking for Dark, as Dark is going to be your only target. And this will help you link climb into your Appaloosa, Axis Code Talker, or Goddess of the Underworld. We have one Appaloosa, Bow of the Goddess, which is going to be your Negates. One Access Code Talker, which will allow you to destroy one card your opponent controls every time you banish a Link monster from your graveyard or field. And one Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. This is primarily here so that way you can link off your opponent's boss monster that's giving you problems getting off of the field. Also, once per turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect that special summons a monster or monsters from the graveyard, you can negate that activation. So, that's it for the deck profile for Labyrinth. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead, leave a like and subscribe. Also, leave in the comments below if you're using Labyrinth and what traps you're actually using with your Labyrinth deck. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Later.